Hello and welcome to this week's edition of Black Knights Weekly. I'm Nick DeSanctis. This week we'll meet Army's Executive Athletic Director, get some football players' thoughts on the big game this weekend, and learn how to do the rocket. First up today is our Army one-on-one. -on -one. We got to sit down with Army Executive Athletic Director Bob Beretta, one of the longest tenured administrative staff members within the athletic department. We asked him how he got to West Point, some of his favorite memories, and what the Army-Navy game means. Boy, okay, I started as an intern at the Pointer View when I was in college for two summers. Worked over there uh, for the paper the first year as a sports editor my second year, entering my senior year in college. Uh, came out of college and accepted an internship here in the Sports Information Office at the time under Bob Kinney in 1987. Uh, I've been very fortunate, blessed to work with some great people that have given me some opportunities to grow over the years. I was able to really focus on sports information, athletic communications for really the first 15 years of my career and then around 2000 began taking on some added responsibilities within the athletic department. Uh, different athletic directors gave me some chances to grow and experience some different things and then I'd say over the last four or five years, it's really been focused more uh, uh, on a senior level of administration. I, at one point, saw most of the external pieces here to our athletic department and now focus on a lot of sports administration, special projects, and still several of, this, of the external pieces to our athletic department. It's the cadets, the cadet athletes for sure, without question. It's such a great pe uh, place to work. You, you get to associate with so many tremendous people from the military side and also from the civilian sector. But at the end of the day, what breathes life into all of us that work in the athletic department is the opportunity we have to engage with our cadet athletes. They are a source of energy, a, a source of promise, and a source of hope for all of us. Well, I don't think I can narrow it to one, but I look back into the early 90s to mid 90s when the Army football team had that tremendous run of success over Navy where we were able to defeat Navy five years in a row by a total of 10 points. And it seemed like each outcome was more improbable than the next and it just continued five straight years. So that was really a, a one time that I look back at with, with great fondness. But also, you know, the baseball team, I'm very close to the baseball program here and they've had a tremendous run of success. So all those regional appearances. But when it comes right down to it, you remember the faces, you remember the cadet athletes, the happiness, the, the smiles on their faces after these great wins. Those are the things that I'll take with me uh, from, from the day that I uh, come to work every day until the day that I finally decide to leave West Point. I think if I had to narrow it to one, it would be the 96 game because there was an awful lot of influences coming together. At that time, uh, we were ha had a tremendous season. We were 9-2 and two, or 9-1 and one going into that game, and Navy, I think, had two losses. And the winner of that game was going to earn the only at-large bowl bid that was uh, available, and it was the Independence Bowl. So it truly was a showdown for the Independence Bowl. It was like a college playoff game. And the atmosphere in old vets, the veteran stadium was phenomenal, but it was a downpour, cold, 35 degrees, and, and a monsoon, and, and Army prevailed uh, by a very small margin, and, and I think Army turned away Navy. I, I thought it was somewhere around five or six plays inside the 10 over the final two minutes. So it was just great exhilaration. It was the first bowl game we'd, we'd uh, gone to then since 1988. So uh, it, it was a tremendous run for us at that point in time, and it was a game that will forever stand out in my memory as, as just one of the most phenomenal endings to an Army-Navy competition. It, it means an awful lot. It, it means um, it, it stands for everything that's good in this country. It, it, what I love about it is that the intense the, the overall intensity of the rivalry is, is unmatched. I, I tell people I kind of compare Army Navy to a sibling rivalry that you don't, there's no one you love more than your brother or sister until you compete against them and then there's no one that you want to beat more than your brother or sister and that's what Army Navy is to me and it, 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 it reaches so, it's so far outreaching to people across the country, across the world, and everyone seems to have a stake in Army Navy, whether it's a family member, whether it's someone, a father, uh, a mother, a cousin, an uncle, someone has a stand so you can take a side in this game. And it, it, it means so much to so many people, and it's all that's good about this country. The time has finally come for the 2013 Army-Navy game. The two teams will kick off shortly after 3 o'clock on Saturday afternoon. You can catch the game on CBS. We had the chance to talk to some of the Army football players and get their thoughts on what it means to be part of such a big game. Uh, I mean, there's no, there's no real way to describe it, honestly. It's, it's a real big game, and uh, it's just awesome because it's that, that's the only game on that weekend. You know, it's, everyone says it's America's game, and it just, there's nothing more exciting for me, at least. 
I mean, it's really big. It's really special. You know, a lot of people all across the world are, you know, watching you play and rooting for you and cheering for you. And I guess it's a way to, you know, say thank you to all those people that, you know, give their lives for, for each and every one of us every single day. So, you know, I just try to think about that and not try to get, you know, wrapped in all the hype. Uh, just play the game and just know that there's people out there fighting for me to be able to play that game. So I'm very blessed and very thankful. Well, the season hasn't went the way we wanted it to go. And uh, basically, you know, our, our harp is right now, you know, this is the last game that could not fix everything, but leave us with a good taste in our mouth. And to have these seniors go out with their first Army-Navy game of their careers would be the greatest thing that I've ever done for them or in my own. I mean, it's all about brotherhood. I mean, all my brothers have played in it, and it's just my turn. And I feel like every time I step on the field against Navy, it's just I, I have to prove something for my family because – it's just the biggest game that we played in, and just think my brothers and the team. A lot of feelings. Uh, you know, it's gonna be a, an emotional game uh, on Saturday. Uh, you know, it's just for the, for the for the year. It's the last time for all of us to play together. You know, some of the seniors are gonna be leaving. You know, you wanna send them out on the same note that you wanna go out on. So send them out on a good note. And you know, the the guys that are gonna be here in the future. You know, those are your brothers. Like. You know, on defense, you know, as a team, we're all close knit. But uh, but defense, it's 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 like that bond that's there. Uh, so you know, you just want to always go out and just and just ball with your brothers. Uh, so that's that's what we're looking to do. The signature pump up move for the Black Knights comes from the Corps of Cadets, and it's called the Rocket. The rabble rousers show us how it's done in this week's night school. Hey everybody, we're here today with the Army Rabble Rousers. My name is Cadet DiRienzo. To my right we have Cadet Jasmine Morgan, and to my left we have Cadet Andrew Cartinson. We're here today to walk you through one of the Corps' signature pump-up moves, the Rocket. So let's get to it. We'll show you how it's done first. Boo! Ah! You smay rah rah! You smay rah rah! Boo rah! Boo rah! Army rah! Team, 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 hey! So now we're going to teach you step by step. Let's break it up into pieces. You're going to start off in a good athletic position with your hands shoulder width apart, relaxed by your knees. At the whistle, you're going to bring your arms up. And then you're going to throw them down at boom. Boom! <laughs> boom! Boom! The next word is Ah, so it goes, ah, use me, ra, ra, use me, ra, ra. Ah, use me, ra, ra, use me, ra, ra. Ah, use me, ra, ra, use me, ra, ra. Good job. The next step from here is hoorah, hoorah, army rock. Try. Hoorah, hoorah, army rock. Great. Now we go team, 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 A. Your turn. Team, 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 A. Team, 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 team A. Let's go, nice. Let's go Army. Great job. Now it's your turn. Team, 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 team. Hey. Let's go, nice. Let's go Army. Thanks Be for Navy. joining everyone. Happy holidays. Go Army. Beat Navy from the Army Route Browsers. Yesterday we hand the microphone off to the football team for 15 seconds with Army Athletics. Hey Army fans, I'm Hayden Pierce and uh, we got this big Army Navy game coming up on Saturday at Lincoln Financial Field in Philadelphia. Just want to say uh, go Army, beat Navy and want everyone's support to come out and support us. And this is Justin Trimble. Yeah, I'm Justin Trimble, and I just want to say, if you're not going to make it to the game, at least watch it on TV at 3 o'clock. Go Army. Be Navy. Thanks so much for joining us on this week's edition of Black Knights Weekly. Until next time, for Night Vision, I'm Nick Dezikas. Go Army.